Hey guys, uh, so just wanted to update a previous tutorial I did on how to verify your contracts. Um, there's actually a simpler way, so I wanted to run through that with you. Um, what I'm going to be using here is I'm going to verify a contract through Remix. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do is when you go in you should be on this little home screen and you're going to want to hit uh, where is it you're gonna want to search plugins and you're going to want to search for flattener so what flattener is going to do as you can see I've already got it activated flattener is down here for me Okay, so the contract that I just compiled, I can flatten it, hit flatten it, then it'll give you an option to save it. You can save it. Um, I've already got it done. So what you're going to do is you're going to, well, as you can see, this is basically, it's like I had like 10 to 12 files and it's just basically putting them all together. That's what flattener is, right? Okay. So you're going to copy all of this. Okay, so we've got our contract address and we see that it is not verified yet. Let's go in, choose our compiler. You're gonna choose single file. Get your compiler version, double check it. 8.7, 8.7, pick a license, continue. Okay, so you're gonna take everything in key mint flap and just paste. and just paste it in. Then what you do is there's a site that you need to go to. If you have a constructor argument and if you're not aware, if you're not aware of what it means by your constructor arguments need the ABI encoded, basically it's this. Right. So in this case, I have one constructor argument. So what you can do is you can use this tool here. You take your ABI, which if you're not familiar, just below compile, you just copy and paste that ABI um, and it's there. Um, copy and paste that paste it into here and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit parse once you hit parse I already did it but it should bring down it should populate your constructor arguments then you just put in the the parameter you use when you launched it in this case uh, the constructor was for royalties and so I input that information and then it automatically comes up copy that I actually think it was already auto populated sometimes it can read it for you and it auto populates but it is good to know where to go abi.hashx.org because sometimes it won't and you need to be able to figure out how to do it manually. <clears throat> okay. Next. Oh my God. I'm keeping this on video just in case I get it wrong. You can laugh at me. Jesus. All right. All right. Verify it. Okay, 
And as you can see, it was as simple as that.